Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have some shocking news. The coach of the Charlotte Hornets Summer League team has came out in a recent interview, which I will show, and has told us that LiAngelo Ball is not going to be playing shooting guard and that he is in fact going to be playing the small forward position. And this comes to us all in a shock because LiAngelo Ball is, you know, only six foot five max. And, you know, he's basically played shooting guard all his life. Yes, when all three brothers were there, he was playing a little bit of, you know, small forward. But now in the NBA, most small forwards are like 6'7", 6 6'8", 6 6 You know, they're not 6'5". Some people say LiAngelo's you know, a little shorter than 6'5", but this is very, very shocking news. Before I show you guys the interview clip, man, comment down below. Do you guys think that LiAngelo Ball should play shooting guard or should he play the small forward position, especially in the NBA, because everyone is taller than LiAngelo. But before we get onto the video and I show you guys the interview clip, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on the bell for more LaMelo, you know, all these NBA videos, LiAngelo videos. And especially since Summer League is tomorrow, uh, I'm definitely going to cover the game after the fact. I might even live stream it, so comment in the comment section if you want to. I know the LiAngelo Ball interview just dropped, but everyone else posted it, so I really didn't feel like posting it again because, you know, everybody else did the same thing. But now, here's the interview clip. Enjoy. We'll discuss after. And with Jello, like, for those who haven't seen him like us, where's where's he playing? Do you think he's a three for you guys? Like, where do you think he fits in your system right now? I just try to figure out, like, the best spot for him on, on the floor out there. He's definitely a three. Uh, he, he's a strong, I talked about before, he's a strong kid, good shooter, very good offensive rebounder. Uh, he's picking up our system. That's what we're trying to help him along with, understanding terminology and what we're looking for schematically, offensively and defensively. But shooter, quick release, um, that's, that's the main thing that he brings to the team. I think he's a three and we're gonna try to get him some shots. He does a great job buying into what we're doing. And I just, I give the kid a, a lot of credit, you know, being here, you know, Oh, everything, you know, he, he didn't have to be here. And he's, you know, he's fighting to try to try to get a roster spot, trying to make a team. And, you know, he, he's a great kid. He's quiet, a little bit different than Melo. You know, Melo's a little bit more, you know, personality and everything. But, you know, you get to know Jello, a very nice kid, just, just quiet. And, you know, I'm very happy to have him part of our team. Hey, Dutch, Jonathan Alexander, Charlotte Observer. Hope you're doing well. Um, you know, we haven't really got a chance to um, see where – Leangelo is so I guess what would it based on what you've seen and, and your evaluation what do you think it would take for him to be able to either make this roster or, or NBA roster in general what are some things that he he's having having to work on well first that that would be a Mitch question you know in terms of the you know, how to make the team but in terms of what we've seen from the coaching staff he's doing all the right things um, he's aggressive offensively he's aggressive defensively he's physical that's what we're asking for and then when it's his time to shoot the ball, he's going to shoot the ball. And it's with his time to swing, he's going to do that. So I think staying within himself. And, you know, I've talked to the guys a lot about we have multiple players that are able to go out and get 30. We are not looking for guys that need to go get 30. We are looking for guys that keep the offense moving. And if you can buy into that role of making plays for others, and then when the occasional shot does come to you and knocking those down, I think you'll have a great chance to succeed. Now, that that's going to be on him of buying into our scheme. I think the main thing that we're helping uh, Jello with is understanding scheme when playing pickup you know he does a great job in that but now how are we hey this is our defensive coverage we're doing this on this player how are we locked into that and i think that's the thing that we can help him the most with to, for him to take that next step awesome wow so that was interesting i also threw in a little clip at the end of the same interview one of the charlotte hornets reporters asked him what the angelo has to do to you know make the actual roster and I just threw that in to give you guys some context. But in the first interview clip, he said that Lee Angelo Ball is more of a fit as a three. And I don't know how I feel about it. Yes, I understand that Lee Angelo is a strong kid. Uh, obviously, you know, he's jacked, probably weighing around 220 right now, 225, 230, somewhere around there. And I must say he's like a good 6'5. Six, 6'5. Five. Six, five. Uh, and that is short for a small forward in the NBA. Like, that's really short for a small forward. Most shooting guards are 6'5", 6'6", 6'4", some even up to 6'7", like Clay Thompson, but that's very short. Yes, I understand that LiAngelo Ball might make up for it with his strength and everything, but defending, it's gonna be a lot harder because, you know, a lot of these small forwards, you know, go to the rim, attack, they're much more bigger, they're gonna have the height advantage on LiAngelo, so it's gonna be interesting, but again, um, 
you know, it's all how the coaching staff wants to play him. Like I said again in the second clip, they said Leangelo Ball needs to be a team player and not, you know, try to go for 30 every game. Just take his shots, you know, get the defensive side of the game, uh, you know, learn the schemes and just be a, you know, a, play his role. All Leangelo has to do is play his role to make this team. But um, I personally think, you know, this is going to be my official opinion of the video. I think that Leangelo Ball needs to play the two guard, uh, the shooting, shooting guard position because that's what he's, you know, been his whole life. Uh, not no, he he has played small forward his whole life, but um, especially with Lonzo and Lamelo being there. But in the NBA, shooting guard is gonna have to be his more focus because small forward has a lot of different tasks than a shooting guard does. Small forwards usually also slash to the basket and aren't just you know mainly primary shooters. But I do understand because Leangelo's ball handling isn't obviously up to par with you know someone like a Bradley Beal shooting guard or some of these other shooting guards. So. I do understand that because yes, Leandro Ball can also be you know a very good pest in the paint. He can post up. Uh, he has that strength on him, and I think his post defense is going to be very good. I'm just good about the height because you know that height he's gonna have to make up for with the strength that's going to be sometimes lethal, and it's gonna be hard for him to defend the taller players. But again, let me know in the comment section what position do you think Leandro Ball should play. I think that the coaching staff is right in this one. Yes, that's going to be my opinion. I think the coaching staff is right. Uh, the, you know, three positions, small forward is going to be best for him suited in the NBA. But only thing I'm scared about, man, is that um, high advantage that other people are going to have on him. But, man, get in the comments section. Let me know what position do you think Leangelo Ball should play? Shooting guard or small forward? It's so interesting. Get in the comments. Like, just debate about this because Summer League is tomorrow. And let's see who's right and who's wrong. And let's see if he fits a good small forward tomorrow. And it's going to be interesting one, man. Make sure to have the bell on. Subscribe. Hit the like button because these videos are going to go absolute crazy. And, um, you know, you guys are going to enjoy them, man. Leangelo, first time seeing him play in over a three, two years. So, um, you know, this is um, going to be a legendary history in time. Leangelo Ball's first ever NBA, you know, first time Leangelo Ball ever stepping on an NBA court. And it's just so interesting. I had to make this little pre-video to you guys, you know, asking you guys what position he thinks he plays. The coach thinks he should be a three, but eh, it's a little iffy. I agree with the coach, though, ultimately at the end. But... I'm gonna stop the yambling. I'm out. Peace.